The story of modern warfare is incomplete without unmanned aerial vehicles. Over the past two decades, the world has witnessed a dramatic shift from conventional aircraft to advanced drones capable of carrying out reconnaissance, surveillance, and precision strike missions. Among the nations investing heavily in unmanned combat aerial vehicles, India has emerged as a strong player with its ambitious Rustam program. Designed and developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, also known as DRDO, the Rustam UCAV missile system is India's answer to the need for indigenous, advanced unmanned combat power. The Rustam program takes its inspiration from the late Indian aerospace engineer Professor Rustam Damania, after whom it was named. His vision for India's independent drone capability laid the foundation for what would eventually become a family of UAVs. The Rustam line includes Rustam-1, Rustam H, and RUSTOM-2, which is also known as Tapas BH-201. While these models vary in size, capability, and endurance, they share a common goal, to provide the Indian Armed Forces with a reliable, homegrown unmanned combat aerial platform. The Rustam UCAV is not merely a surveillance drone, it is a missile-capable combat system designed for the challenges of modern battlefields. The Rustam-1 was the first prototype, a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV, with the ability to fly for about 12 to 15 hours and reach altitudes of up to 25,000 feet. Its primary role was intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, often referred to as ISR missions. However, it was not heavily armed. Instead, it served as a stepping stone for more advanced versions that could carry payloads and strike targets with precision. Rustam H, or Rustam High, followed as a larger and more capable version. With a wider wingspan and improved endurance, it provided better operational capabilities, but the real breakthrough came with Rustam Minus 2. Officially known as Tapas BH-201, the Rustam 2 was designed to be a true medium-altitude, long-endurance combat drone. With the ability to stay airborne for over 24 hours, fly at altitudes of up to 35,000 feet, and carry advanced sensors and weapons, it marked India's serious entry into the global UCAV arena. The Rustam UCAV missile system is designed to be equipped with precision-guided munitions. It can carry laser-guided bombs, air-to-surface missiles, and other smart weaponry that enables it to strike high-value targets with remarkable accuracy. This capability is essential for modern warfare, where minimizing collateral damage is as important as neutralizing threats. The integration of advanced electro-optical sensors, synthetic aperture radars, and electronic intelligence systems allows the Rustam to detect, track, and engage targets both during the day and at night, and in adverse weather conditions. The Rustam drone family has been developed with a modular approach, allowing integration of different payloads depending on the mission requirements. For reconnaissance missions, it can carry high-resolution cameras, radars, and communication relay equipment. For combat operations, it can be fitted with missile systems that make it a true UCAV. Its versatility makes it a valuable asset for the Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force. One of the most important aspects of the Rustam UCAV missile system is its indigenous development. India has traditionally relied on foreign suppliers for advanced drones, such as the Israeli Heron and Searcher UAVs. However, the Rustam represents India's determination to develop its own technology, reduce dependency, and strengthen its self-reliance in defense. This aligns with India's broader, Make in India, initiative, which emphasizes domestic production of advanced defense platforms. B. Program also boosts India's defense exports, as the Rustam could become an attractive option for other countries seeking affordable yet capable UAV systems. Technically, the Rustam 2 has a wingspan of over 20 meters, giving it long endurance and stability in flight. It is powered by twin turbocharged engines, ensuring reliability during extended missions. Its endurance, ranging from 24 to 30 hours, allows it to conduct persistent surveillance over hostile territories, monitor borders, or engage in counterinsurgency operations. The UCAV's ground control stations are equipped with satellite communication systems, giving operators real-time access to data and the ability to control missions over long ranges. The missile system integrated into the Rustam UCAV is one of its most defining features. It is designed to carry precision strike weapons, such as glide bombs, air-to-ground missiles, and anti-tank guided munitions. 
These weapons can be deployed with pinpoint accuracy, enabling the drone to neutralize enemy command centers, ammunition depots, radar installations, and even moving targets like armored vehicles. The Rustam is also being evaluated for integration with indigenous Indian weapon systems, making it fully self-reliant not just in airframe technology but also in armament. Operationally, the Rustam UCAV missile system is expected to play a critical role in border surveillance, especially along India's sensitive frontiers with Pakistan and China. These regions require constant monitoring, and the endurance of the Rustam makes it ideally suited for such missions. In addition, it can provide close air support for ground forces, deliver precision strikes in counter-terror operations, and act as a force multiplier during conventional conflicts. For the Indian Navy, the Rustam offers maritime patrol capabilities, keeping a close watch on the Indian Ocean region and safeguarding shipping lanes. The development of the Rustam UCAV has not been without challenges. Early trials faced setbacks in terms of airframe stability, engine performance, and integration of weapon systems. However, DRDO and its industry partners have made continuous improvements, bringing the project closer to full-scale operational deployment. With increasing support from the Indian Armed Forces, the Rustam UCAV missile system is steadily progressing toward induction. The global UCAV landscape is dominated by American, Israeli, Turkish, and Chinese drones. Platforms like the MQ-9 Reaper, the Bayraktar TB-2, and the Wing Long series have set benchmarks in combat drone technology. India's Rustam program is a step toward joining this league, ensuring that the country has indigenous capabilities to meet its strategic needs. Once fully operational, the Rustam will not only reduce dependence on foreign systems but also give India the confidence to deploy UCAVs in diverse combat scenarios. In modern warfare, information dominance and precision strike capability define success on the battlefield. The Rustam UCAV missile system combines both. It can observe, detect, and strike, all without putting human pilots at risk. This is the future of combat, and India's indigenous drone program is making sure it is not left behind. The Rustam UCAV represents more than just a drone. It symbolizes India's journey toward technological independence, strategic deterrence, and enhanced combat capability. As the skies of tomorrow become increasingly filled with unmanned warriors, the Rustam will carry the flag of India's aerospace ambitions, ready to defend its borders, project power, and ensure security in an ever-evolving world.